that's what I'm talking about. Welcome everyone to the PAX 2018 Devil May Cry 5 panel. Yes. Well, my name is Charlene, and I am um, this is actually my first time at PAX, and as of today, this is my third month at Capcom. I am, yeah, I'm one of the brand directors at Capcom. I wanted to show one of the titles I get to work on, I am so jazzed for, is Devil May Cry 5. Yeah. All right, are you guys ready to get crazy? Yeah. Are you ready to be badass? guys have smoking sexy style? <laughs> All right, it's time to get crazy. The time has come to start this panel. All right, let's talk first. I know you saw that in the trailer. Double May Cry 5 is coming out on March 8th. You guys hyped? Yeah. Anybody get to try out the game at the Capcom booth earlier? Yeah. Yes, my people. I love you all. Well, I am pretty lonely up here. So I figured we would bring up some guests. We have three very special guests here, all the way from Japan here to meet you guys. But they told me backstage, um, they are not gonna come up unless you guys cheer really loud and show them how motivated you are. Can you do that? Yeah. Of course you can, yes! Say that's adequate, so let's bring them up one by one. First up, we have the senior producer of Devil May Cry 5, Mr. Michitero Okabe san. Yes, yes. Please be seated. Oh, it's so great to have you. Oh, hi! Hello, everyone. Yes. Next up, we have the producer of Devil May Cry 5. We have Mr. Matt Walker. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, DMC is back. back. And last, but certainly not least, I have one more chair up here. I want you to give the most badass welcome to the guy behind Double May Cry 5. You know him, you love him. It's Mr. Hideaki Itsuno-san! <laughs> With have some very special guests. I'm gonna let Nero and Nico go because they've got some treats for you guys. Yeah, we did not come empty handed, but while they get ready to pass those out, we have some questions for our esteemed guests here. So, you guys have had a whirlwind few months. What's it like to finally be here at PAX meeting your American fans? Man. Wait, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Is this, is this you my guy? Ah, all right, bring me closer. Here we go. There we go. It's been amazing, you know. Uh, it started back in May when we announced the game on Microsoft stage, right? I mean, how many times does someone get a chance to do that? And we've been working on this game for three years now. So for the longest time we were working on this and we really weren't sure how people were going to receive it. But each of us on our backstage, we're together. And as soon as that Devil May Cry logo went up, everybody went nuts, right? <laughs> it was so cool. So we're standing backstage, the two of us. And as soon as everybody went nuts, the two of us were standing back there, were both like, yes! <laughs> we were so excited, you know? And then last week, we had our first Playboy Gamescom in Europe, and luckily, 
everybody seems to be really happy with what they've played, so that's been amazing. And now we finally get to bring that playable to PAX here to finally have Americans try out the game. Yeah. Right? I mean, we really hope that you guys try out the game and that you like what you play. So that's all we can ask for. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah, that's yeah. cool. All right, so before we get into the deep, deep questions, for all of you guys, if you could explain um, for our audience here your role on the DMC5 team. Hi, my name is Mitch Teru. I'm a producer on Devil May Cry 5. Thank you for having us today. And Okabe-san being the senior producer, he basically gets to make all the, the high-level decisions. And so me being just the vanilla producer, that means that basically I do all the work that he doesn't want to do. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> see, 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 yeah. Just doing that all the time, every day. Uh, and I do, basically I coordinate and make sure that everyone's got all the information they need and everybody has all the decisions made that they need so that we can get the game done and that we can get PR and marketing done on the game as well. And then we have the director. Director of Devil May Cry 5. えっと、ディレクターはあの、そうですね。僕の場合はストーリーのプロットも考えたり、キャラの設定も考えたり、遊びのネタも考えたりと割と全体を見るタイプのディレクターです。So we have a lot of different directors at Capcom and they all kind of perform different roles, but Isonsan is the kind of director that he really gets hands on and so he starts with, he comes up with the whole, the idea for the story, for the plot. He comes up with kind of the settings for what the characters are going to be like. And everything down to the details of what the gameplay is going to be like. So he's the kind of director that really gets in there and really manages every aspect of development. Okay. All right, so I got to ask, who is your favorite character in the DMC series? Why? All right. How about how about let's go this way this time. All right. Since that's okay. actually Isano's on. We're gonna Virgil, this way. He likes Virgil. Ano, ma, ano, nande ka tayo to. Boku ano, two no tochu kara ano, Devil May Cry ni kakawate te. De Virgil tiyu kara no ma, mita me to ka ano, waza to ka, shaberi kuchou to ka, o zenbu fukumete ano, boku no. 全部やったデビルメイクや3でえ作ったキャラなんですごく思い出があります。So the reason for that is because uh, as some of you guys may be aware, Eternal Sun really started to get involved with the Devil May Cry franchise with Devil May Cry 2, right? So in Devil May Cry 1, we had a version of Virgil, but it wasn't until Devil May Cry 3 that we really have the Virgil that I think everybody kind of knows and loves, you know, the design, the moves, all of that stuff, even the way he speaks was uh, basically designed by that team that Itano san led for Devil May Cry 3. So that's why he's got uh, a lot of really great memories about how he created that character, you know. For me, I mean, it's a pretty boring answer, but Dante! <laughs> you know? Yeah, Dante! Oh man, that's DMC2 Dante in the front, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking Stand up, stand up! Look at that! Yeah! Baby, that's hot. Yeah, I love you. I love you, man. And I think we all do. And I mean, I mean you talk about Devil May Cry, you know Dante. Dante is the character, man. You know, he's the one kind of started it all. So I mean, for me, yeah, it's kind of a boring answer, but Dante. All right, we'll grab it, Uh I like the new character Nico so much. Uh, where's our Nico? Where'd she go? Nico. いや、リーゴ。ほら、ここから日本語ですけど、あの、最初にニコの
we're really looking forward to having you guys play the game. Uh, in terms of Nico, though, the reason that Okabe-san loves Nico so much is she's this kind of character that, you know, the first time he saw the design for Nico, he was, he was like, okay, I'm not really sure how this character is going to turn out. This is going to be interesting. But a lot of us on the dev team, as we've played from the beginning game to the end of the game, we've played multiple times, she's become a character that we've all really grown to love, you know? And so that's why Nico is his favorite character. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, really good lead-in. Um, speaking of that, um, Itsuno-san, could you tell us just a little bit more about our new heroine, Nico? And we actually have some never-before-seen concept art for Nico to show you. Nero <laughs> So for Nico, the, the design for Nico kind of, the idea for Nico kind of started out with, okay, Nero's got Kirie, but Nero really wants to keep Kirie safe. He really, she is the most, she is the most important thing to him. So... The way we saw it was that Kirie wasn't going to be the type that was going to go out into battle with Nero. And so we wanted someone that was going to do that. And that's how we came up with Nico. あの、ニコのね、yeah. Yeah. And so, you guys can probably tell from the concept art on the far left here that this is the thing that I'm pointing to. That's the same as the, the screen up top. So, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you don't have to strain your neck to see that. But it's a it's a welder smock, and that's because she's she's this this artis, artisan of weapons. You know, she's she can create these amazing weapons. So the idea there is that. She was going to be this character that, okay, when she's welding, when she's creating weapons, she's going to have the smock on it, she's going to have these sleeves, but then when she's just kind of chilling, she's going to take that stuff off. And so that's how we came up with that character design and that costume. Okay, and then we have, um, this is something that, something really cool that Matt sent over, and I was very insistent on using it. We actually have, for the first time, some art of our motion capture model. Yep, so this is, yep, this is the wonderful lady that we scan for Nico. Her name is Emily Bador. A lot of people have been asking me on Twitter, who, 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 who is that, who is that? <laughs> so there you go, there she is, Emily, uh, dressed up as Nico during the photo shoot, the scan shoot for Nico. And you, do you tell, she looks, she looks quite a bit like Nico does in the game, although we did make, not just for her, but all of the characters, we did do some certain changes. It's interesting, for the scan process, Usually when you scan somebody, you don't want to change them a whole lot. It's what we call a digital double. It's a 3D model of a real person. And so, really, the craft there is trying to make a model that looks exactly like that person. But at Capcom, we're crazy. <laughs> and so it was like, all right, that's great. We want to do that. But then we want to make all these, we want to make these little adjustments here and there so that we can really bring out the, the Nero-ness, the Nico-ness, the Dante-ness of this character. Yeah. You know? Looks so cool. So cool. So we actually, so what everyone really loves about Double My Cry is all about that stylish action. And we're going to have Matt and Itsuno-san and Okabe-san talk to us a little bit about some of the action elements in Double May Cry 5. Right. And we're going to do it by showcasing some footage of the boss fight with Goliath. He is our, our friend that's got the heartburn, if you played the demo, he's that guy. So let's uh, talk a little bit about all this stylish action. All right, here we go. The Goliath. This is the first boss that we've been showing off here. He is, if you've played, anybody played Devil May Cry 4? Yeah! yeah! All right! So when we were creating this boss, we had Burial in Devil May Cry 4, and everyone was like, Burial's an awesome boss fight. You know, it's a nice boss fight, and I'm sorry that I'm spitting in the mic here. And it has this great area where there's all these houses, you know, that, that uh, you're kind of taken down, that he's taken down as he's fighting against you. And so our artists really wanted to create something that was going to match that and was going to exceed that in any way that we possibly could. So that 
is how we come to the Goliath. And you see right off the bat, you start, you start on top of this cathedral, and then after it gets down to about a quarter, or about a quarter life of those uh, there or so, you actually fall into the cathedral and you start fighting him. And this actually provides, this is perfect timing, this provides a chance to fight against him in different ways. You see, we just, he just did, Nero just did this move called the Petal Ray with the Gerbera Devil Breaker. And so that bounces off walls. And every time it bounces off walls, the laser gets more powerful. So in a nice closed area like that, you could do a lot of damage with that one. And then as you can see, then the Goliath brings you out into this giant parking area kind of thing. あ、デビルブレイカーがあの、今オーバーチュアなんですけど、もうすぐダウンするんで、ダウンした時に次のデビルブレイカーに切り替えて使う時があるんで、それを見てほしいんですけど、出るかな。あ、で、ワッチ Nice helicopter spin here. I all right, here's what I love, though. Here's what I love. After this, bam! Oh! So good. Oh, the animators, Hidaki-san is the lead animator. The animators, they put in these little details, and that stuff feels so good, man. We were so excited we were putting together this trailer, and we got a chance to put that in there. It just feels so good. <laughs> By the way, sorry, we can't use the Buster Arm in this particular version uh, of the demo, the PAX version, so I'm sorry for that. It's just, it's kind of a tease, it's kind of a tease to say, look, you could do this, and then go, but not you guys. So, <laughs> sorry about that. I'll take responsibility for that. And he has this, so, and like you're saying, heartburn over here, he has this move where he sucks <laughs> you in. Little tip here, if you're closer to him, it's going to be easier to avoid that because the further away you are, the, the, the more distance you have to make up for the rotational velocity of the Goliath. And I know that sounds really technical, but just get close to him and run to the side when he does that. I'm just, there we go. All right, we're fi finishing off with a nice stem ray from the Gerbera. There you go. Awesome. Well, speaking of, yeah, wasn't that amazing? Oh, I love watching a boss fight. This is another question for Itsuno-san. So we've had a lot of fans come up to us as we've been showing off the demo and seeing them online asking us about the type of modes that fans can expect to see in DMC5. はい。えっと、ちょっとね、え、ネットとかだとあの、いろんな画面から情報がコロコロ出てはいるんですけど、まず今回ここで初めて発表するモードを一つ、えっと、フォトモードがつきます。あの、フォトモードはゲーム中 so there's a couple modes here. There's a couple big exclusive here, but a couple first announcements in this question here by design, I guess. And you guys will probably have noticed if you've looked online, you've seen people pause the demo and they've kind of found some stuff in the menus. So first off, we're first officially acknowledging that there's a photo mode in the game. We put so much effort. Don't switch over yet. Don't switch over yet. That's that's uh, uh, okay. So so here's another mode. Here's another mode that uh, we just wanted to really just kind of tease you guys about here. But there's a <laughs> there it is right there. You can see it. You can see the mode right there. It's the gallery. So we have this gallery with all this different information. People are really going to analyze this now too. That's cool though. That's cool. And you can see in the gallery here, we have all this different stuff that you're going to be able to see specific information on in the game. And you'll be able to view the models. So hold on, hold on one second. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, because hold on, there's, still, there's still one other thing we're going to say before we move on to the Devil Breakers. Yeah. Um, the Another thing a lot of people have been asking on Twitter stuff like, is there going to be a training mode? Is there going to be a training mode? All right, well, again, we're going to officially reveal that, yes, there is a training mode in the game. 
今まで要望はあったんですけど、ちょっと余裕なくてつけられなかったんですけど、今回頑張ってつけたので。Nissan says, look, that we, this is something that people have been asking for for a long time, training modes. And so, you know, we've, we've tried our best. There were certain titles where we weren't able to get that done correctly. But this time we made sure to make the effort, and there's going to be a training mode. So we'll reveal more details on that one in due time. In due time. Good question. I, I don't think we've actually figured out when we're going to re reveal details, actually. <laughs> Is anybody, actually, that's a good question. Is anyone going to be at TGS here from here? Anybody? Oh, nice. Man, you guys are hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> Man, nice. All right. Cool. Well, thank you. Come see us. Say hi. You know? <laughs> hi. All right. Sorry, Charlie. Right. Oh, no, no oh, worries. Oh. This is all great stuff. So, some of the other concepts we're going to show off, we're going to talk about Nero's Devil Breakers. But we're going to start with, so we all have weekly conference calls. I talked to Matt quite a bit. And we talk, one of the things that we talk about is art assets and, you know, things that we can do to like, make the fans really happy. And this is actually one of the first art concepts that I got to see come in. And you can see it in its raw form. Of how a concept art happens for a poster. So, this is, you can see, it's roughly Nero and all of his double breakers, but it's really cool the final piece of art. I love this piece of art so much. Yeah, um, it's infinitely amazing. But what you can see here is so, if you played the demo, you've encountered the Overture and the Gerbera um, arms. But there's a lot more double breakers here. So we are actually going to talk a little bit more about all of these tools that Nero can use. So what do you say we, like any good musical movement, let's start with the overture, shall Ooh, we? Ooh, she went there, yes. You thought I'm you were sorry. safe. No, man, I'm, not, I'm never safe. Overture, there we go. Yep, so this is the first one. Oh, Bacho, Nichi, Naka. Oh, Bacho, you know, Nico, I just want to ask you to David Gray car. Eh, my old Bacho, the Ego de Soma, what was the Hajimari no? So, really, Overture is the Overture of Bre Devil Breakers, as far as Nico is concerned, because it's the first one that she ever made. And so for her, it's just the beginning. It's just the Overture of the, the whole ensemble that she's got planned. You can, see, you can see that in the videos that we have there, in the model viewer, you can actually see how they transform, the Devil Breakers transform there, as we just showed now. And you'll see with this standard Devil Breaker overture move here called Battery, that depending on the state of your enemy there, it, the direction that Nero actually does the battery and change there. So you see sometimes it's on the ground, sometimes in front of him, sometimes it's above him like that. Okay. All right, now let's go to our next one, which you can also find it in the demo if you play it down at the Capcom or the Microsoft booth. We have the Gerbera. Gerbera. Yes, Gerbera is... This is a very good and so the idea with Gerber is that, as you can see here, when it's open like this, when it's doing its uh, breakage moves, which are the kind of charge moves that you can do with the Devil Breakers, that it's supposed to kind of look like a flower called the Gerbera, a Gerbera. So that's where it gets its name from. And then as you can see here, the breakage move, the power move for this, there's two of them. This one here is called Stem Ray. Stamen Ray. Stamen Ray. Sorry, Stamen Ray. Oops. Guess I forgot my, uh, my yeah. flower. You forgot your botany flower class. structures there. There you go. And then Petal Ray here. So there's two. Depending on whether you're on the ground or you're in the air, you do a different move. And so, yeah, we kind of based those moves on the image of a stamen, for a Gerberus stamen, and a Gerberus petal here. Awesome. Yeah. Now, here's another double breaker that you guys might have seen from watching the trailers. All right. Punchline. Yes. Punchline. Yes. 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 Yes.
Yeah, I think this might be the first time that we've actually revealed the official name for it, but yep, this is Punchline, and it becomes a rocket. <laughs> you see, when it's open there, you can see actually the spot that, that uh, Nero's able to step on when he's riding. Yeah! <laughs> Ride him, cowboy! <laughs> you know, there's, this is very, in Japanese we say chuni. This is very chuni. It's very, it's the, kind of, it's the kind of stuff that people in their early teens think is badass. And that is exactly what itsuno san goes for in all of his games, is this kind of chuni feeling. And yes, Nero's Pro Skater, there you go. <laughs> Maybe we should make like an, like an iOS game or something like that. With, and it'll be Nero's Pro Skater with the rocket, uh, with the punchline. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, it's so badass. All right, let's go to our next one, which is also a reveal. And we were talking about this one a lot last night. We are talking about the Tomboy. Ooh, the Tomboy. Tomboy. Tomboy is a Japanese おてんばむすめとかじゃじゃうまとかっていうその扱いきれないようなあのまあ男の子っぽい女の子のことを言います。So yeah. yeah. tomboy uh you know when we say tomboy in English we kind of we talk about women who maybe exhibit more what you might consider, some people might consider more masculine traits, more masculine uh, features in their um, uh, personality. で、えっと、トンボイ自体は、えっとですね、ここに伸びてるこのアームの方が本当はもっと長く伸びて、銃を、弾を、銃弾を加速させてより強力な弾にする能力と。もう一つはこのアームがレッドコインにつながってレッドコインにエネルギーを供給しつつここの手がねちょうどモンキーレンチみたいになっててレッドコインの下をギュッとかつかんで両手持ちの剣としてアバレまくる剣で切るとこれ
walk around the enemies, <laughs> apparently, and give you, gives you a chance to experiment with what you're going to do with your combos when the enemies are frozen in place. Yeah. It was really cool. And taking uh, a stroll, taking yeah. a stroll, yeah, with his little time stopper move. Yeah. All right, now we have another one. This one's got the coolest name, not going to lie. The Helter, Helter Skelter. Skelter. Helter Skelter. Yes. Yes. All right. I don't know, actually, no, maybe we do this in, in, in America as well, but in Japan, anyways, when you have like a kind of screw like slide, we call that helter skelter. And so, helter skelter, then the, the, uh, the shape of the helter skelter, like this kind of resembles that shape. So that's where we got the name from. これ実はあの変形このドリル状のやつが1段階展開した時はドリル状のまま展開してここに映ってる2段階のやつはもう最終段階なんですね。本当は間にもう1段階あるんですけど、あのドリルで切り刻んだと最後にこの3つ目の形
you should have a little pin on the inside. Now, as you open them, these are the pins you could possibly get. They're the orbs that are in Double May Cry 5. So we have a red orb, a green orb, a purple orb, the white orb, the blue orb, and the gold orb. Love the animation, Shirley. Yes. <laughs> I know, like, I just can't stop the glitter. Well done, well just done. Can't stop it. Okay, does everyone have theirs open? Okay. All right, so we're going to do our special mission here. Who has a gold orb? You have a gold orb. Hold it up. Stand up. Stand up. Let's see this. Let's see this. Stand up, gold orb. All right, okay. Dante. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, man, over there, too. Nero, all right. All right, I got some news for you guys. The mission rankings are in, and you guys have spoken sexy yes. style. <laughs> yeah, you've yes. got the gold orb, which symbolizes it's basically a one-up in the game. So you guys get something really special for having the gold orb. You guys might have heard we're having a little soiree tonight. We got our stylish pizza party at Spin, which is right near the Sheridan. And you get to meet all these guys, get free pizza, and it'll be hosted by Vampy Bit Me. What you guys get to do is you get to jump cancel that line. You guys get to go into the VIP line, get in first. But wait, you guys can sit down now. <laughs> it might be Devil May Cry, but we have love in our hearts. You guys are all invited. And it takes place between 8 and midnight tonight. The first 100 people in line are going to get a wristband for autographs from these fancy lads. We're going to have the demo stations for Devil May Cry 5 there so you can play. We have special DMC5 themed drinks that you can get, including one called the Gold Orb. Um, it will make you feel like you have extra life. And of course, because this is DMC, we're gonna have pizza. We're gonna have Dante's favorite pizza, pepperoni. We'll have some cheese there too. So yeah, be there, party with these guys, Devil May Cry. And everyone who comes to the event tonight, remember we were talking about that art earlier? You're gonna get a poster of that art. And if you're one of the first hundred, these guys are gonna autograph that poster. Isn't that badass? Yes! Yes! So my gold orb friends, make sure you're wearing that on your lanyard, get to jump cancel that line. Everyone else, you're invited. You just gotta line up with everyone else. You get this poster. Doesn't that sound like fun? You guys excited? Oh yeah! You oh, motivated? Yeah. Yes! But if you can't wait to party, got you fam. You can head on down to the Capcom booth. You can go to our DMC area. You can try out the game there. And also, at certain points in the day, Nero and Nico are going to stop by in between missions and take photos with you guys. So head on down to the Capcom booth and check that out. But also, if you find them around the convention, you can negotiate with Nico and get some more orb pins so you can try to collect them all. It's nearly impossible, but you're welcome to try. <laughs> you guys love a challenge. You guys love Double May Cry. Of course you love a challenge. So speaking of the demo, we're going to go back to the question time with all of our team here. Um, we're talking a lot about the demo. Is there anything special about the demo you would like to share with our crowd here and the folks at home watching on Twitch? S rank to clear it, well, the normal thing is that the final clear screen and special message is coming out of the screen, but S clear it, コツだけ伝授するとですね。とにかくS以上長い時間キープして、あとノーダメージでクリアすると、え、クリアの得点が1.2倍になると思うんで、まあノーダメージがほぼ必須条件なんですごく頑張らないとダメなんですけど頑張
if you're going to try to do this, what we can tell you is do your best to keep triple S as long as you can in all your combos, but don't get hit. Because once you get hit, there's going to be a damage, there's going to be a multiplayer that is going to bring you down. So it's probably a necessity not to get hit at all during the demo to get that S rank. So if any of you guys do that, please tweet at us. You know, we definitely want to retweet that. I think, I think even on the dev team, we've only had... <laughs> I think we've maybe had one or two people on the dev team that have been able to pull it off. And he says, yeah, our, our dev team, we're kind of, we're kind of, we're kind of dicks because <laughs> they kind of purposely made it really hard to do. So try it out. I believe, I believe in you. I believe in you. あの、ストットは、あの、電話ボックスから、その、バン、DMC か呼べるけれども、あれあんまり触れないんで、そこはもうスッと行って、プレイした方がいいですよっていうのと、で、あともう一つは、あの、黄色いのは救急車なんで
Yeah. Yeah, you're bringing the good stuff, guys. Yeah, you're bringing the good mode stuff. thing. <laughs> Exclusive world premiere. <laughs> Thank you. That's really nice of you. Thank you. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So, I know Matt, we talked about this last night. Um, before we start you know, winding down our panel, you mentioned that you guys all had you know, a special message that you would want to share with the fans, like special thanks, like you wanted to do some shout outs. Hi, eh, to, Dante to ka, as far as Eastern Sound is concerned, he says, look, we haven't even gone into any detail on Dante yet. <laughs> haven't even gone into any detail on Dante. All you've seen so far is just this, he's, he's fighting with the freaking motorcycle. What is this? And then there's this third playable character. We haven't even seen what this character looks like from the front yet. There's still a lot that we have yet to reveal for this game. So we hope you guys stay with us and keep checking out all the different media and stuff that we're gonna put out. And hopefully, hopefully, you guys will be happy with what you see. Kabe san, how about you? So, this is not a good thing. I don't know if I'm going to get a little bit of a joke. I'm going to get a little bit of a joke. I'm going to get a little bit of a joke. I'm going to get a little bit of a joke. I'm going to get a little bit of a joke. Alright, and as an extension to that, Okabe san says, yep, for, so for those two of you people that are going to TGS, please come to TGS. We look forward to having you guys check out the TGS stuff that we have going on. We're really going to go into detail on Dante. And then, yeah, moving forward at some point, we're going to hear more about this third character as well. And then for me, I really just want to say thank you. Seriously, thank you to all you guys. Everybody who gives a damn. Anybody that cares at all about Capcom or Devil May Cry because it's because of you guys. It's because of your interest. It's because of your passion that we're able to do this awesome job every day. That I get to work with these cool people. That I get to live my, it's thanks to you guys, you get to live my dream. Thank you for that. <laughs> thank you. Seriously, no, I'm, but seriously, man, it's, you, Capcom needs to be for the fans, you know? And we, and I just wanna say we appreciate you guys, all of you guys, thank you. And I hope that we can all continue to be excited for all the same stuff. And we can all just be passionate and happy about uh, video games. And then I also wanna thank the dev team back in Japan, all those guys for doing an amazing job creating this game. And I wanna thank Charlene, especially. No. Especially Charlene, I'm going to pick up the mic here, because, because if it wasn't for you, she's the one that put all this pack stuff together. And CUSA, everybody at CUSA, I, I probably won't say, I won't say your names because I don't know if you guys will be embarrassed. I'm going to say Zemke's name. <laughs> the head of marketing, David. David, all these guys, they put all this hard work into trying to make sure that people can see this game that they're passionate about. And hopefully get to learn about this game. So it's thanks to these guys, it's thanks to Charlene that we have this party, it's thanks to Charlene that we have this panel, it's thanks to Charlene that we have this booth. So Charlene, thank you. Uh, all right guys, don't cheer too loud. There's, uh, to echo what Matt said, there's you know, everybody at CUSA, all, you know, everyone at Capcom, we you know, do this for you guys. And it's just, you know, it's a joy and pleasure putting this stuff on for you so you guys can get crazy and really celebrate Double May Cry. And yeah, it's all these crazy guys making it happen. Um, it's, yeah, it's honestly a pleasure. Yes. I'm gonna be like all choked up. Um, but anyway, yeah, seriously guys, thank you all so much. Now, before we wrap up this panel, these guys came all the way from Japan. They were at Gamescom too, so they were, they were hella jet lagged. So give them the biggest, most badass round of applause. Give Actually, them that big thank you. Welcome. Yeah. 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 All well, you guys. Yeah. Give it up for Okabe-san, Matsu-san, and Itsuna-san. You know, you know
know what though? Yeah. Okabe-san, Okabe-san really wants to get one thing. There's one thing that he wants, and that is he wants to get a video of everybody going, DMC is back. So. We're gonna do a count countdown? Of, on the count of three. Also, uh, you know, I'm not gonna do this right. Okay, sorry, I was gonna ramble for a second there. All right, on the count of three, let's all go, DMC is back. You ready? One, two, three. DMC is back! Also, thank you to Nico and Nero. I knew I forgot somebody. Thank you to Nico and Nero over there for their amazing cosplay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys are the most badass panel pals ever. We hope to see you guys down at the Capcom booth. See you for some pizza tonight. We're going to be here all packs. Thank you guys so much. And you know what? We love this trailer so much. We are going to close it out with the trailer one more time. Thank you guys so much for coming. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Try not to get us killed on the way there. Perfect timing. <laughs>